Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. I've got a treat for you guys today. My good friend here and my daughter's boyfriend, Rick Jameson. Say hi, Rick. How you doing, YouTube? Awesome. We are going to be changing out the radiator in a 1994 Toyota Corolla 7AFE 1.8 liter engine. So without further ado, let's get right into it and change this radiator. All right, guys, first up, we're going to go ahead and grab some of these jack, these uh, wheel chucks, put them behind the wheel, and jack up the car. Let's do it, Rick. Right on. Now we're going to put in the jack stands. We've got it jacked up. We've got the wheel chucks in place. And we're going to go ahead, put these safety measures in place. There we go. Beautiful. Jack stands are in place, and now we're going to lower her down. Nice. Now we're going to just open up the hood, and here's the radiator. Out with the old, in with the new. Okay, so first up, we're going to drain all of the coolant out of the radiator. Then we're going to take away this bracket. This bracket, we're going to take loose the top and the bottom hoses, and of course the overflow tube, and then we'll remove this radiator and install the new. Don't forget, when you take out a radiator and install a new one, to transfer the cooling fan. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is drain the cooling system. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Universal Studios of the slime. <laughs> all right, now that all the coolant is drained out, all you have to do is disconnect the electrical connector on the fan, disconnect the O2 sensor, and disconnect the top and bottom hoses. So we'll start with those hoses now. Probably enough. Okay. There we go. And we take the top one off. The bottom one off, we take it off at the top too. All right, we got the hoses loose. So the only thing left is the mount brackets. There's one on each side. We'll take those loose and we'll take out the radio. Now the mounts are off, just take the radiator out and set it up on the table so that we can uh, swap out the fan onto Once your old radiator is off, don't forget to transfer your fan from the old radiator to the new. We got Rick doing that now. Pretty soon it'll be on there and ready to go back in the car. Once you have your fan transferred, you can just put your radiator back in, put your coolant back in, and drive your car. Once the radiator is installed, all you have to do is put your mounts back on and fill the deck up with coolant.
Everything's connected up right. There's no leaks. Looks good. All right, Rick. What do you think? Man, it was very easy and it was fun. All right, good job, man. Look at this. Radiator is installed. Thanks to Rick Jameson. We have the coolant in there. And it's going to be a job well done. Good deal. So thank you guys for watching. And have a good day.